you need to find alignment with your desire in order to manifest it. So here are three powerful tricks to get you into alignment fast. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a law of attraction coach. And if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe as I put three to four new videos out every week. Now I talk about alignment a lot in my videos and you've probably heard it from a few other people as well. You have to be in alignment with who you are and with what you want in order to manifest the things that you desire. So in today's video, I'm going to give you three tricks to get you into alignment with these things that you've been asking for. Now, out of all of my videos, this may be the most important one because it addresses everything. When you get into alignment, you access the power of the universe. You're in alignment. You're on the same frequency of all of the things that you've been asking for, all of your desires, everything that you want to be, the version of yourself that you want to be is on this high frequency. So when you practice getting into alignment with that, then it is only a short amount of time before you get the manifestation. If you're wondering what alignment is, or if you're confused about the term, it means feeling good. It means practicing that high vibration and those positive emotions that are natural and normal to you. You have a larger part of you that is non-physical. Your inner being. And your inner being knows where you are, knows what you want, and knows the quickest and most enjoyable way to get you from where you are to where you want to be. And so the way that you access this powerful and intelligent larger part of you is through positive emotion because that is who you truly are. That is the essence of your inner being. So you are tapping into that and connecting with that power when you are practicing positive emotion, when you are having fun, when you are laughing, when you are appreciating, when you are loving, your inner being or the universe is always guiding you, is always helping you, answering you, supporting you, appreciating you, encouraging you. And you don't notice it if you're not feeling good. So when you practice getting into alignment, which is everything I've been talking about, then you have access to all of that. So my first trick is practicing the feeling place of your desire. Now, this is exactly what I give you in my free workbook about manifesting your dream body. Those questions that I have laid out for you to answer help you to practice the feeling place, the vibration of what you want. And so it is a very powerful practice to do not just once, but again and again, because you're reminding yourself, why do I want this? How would this make me feel? How would it feel right now if this was my reality. If this thing has had already manifested, how would I feel? What would I be doing? How would my life be different? So definitely one way that you can get into alignment with your desire fast is by asking these targeted questions. What do I want? Why do I want it? What would it feel like if I had it now? And you can be as general or specific as you like, as long as it feels good to you. If it feels easy and natural and joyful to list specifics of everything that you want, then absolutely do that and it will benefit you. This is what we call acting as if. Acting as if it's real already. Or more so feeling as if it is real already. Or if the specifics make you feel a little bit of tension or doubt or resistance, you can be very general with these questions as well. And so focus on emotion. Really, how would it make you feel completely free, secure, confident, loved, whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest, whether it's your ideal body or your ideal career or whatever it is, find the feeling place of it and practice that. This brings me to my second trick for alignment, letting go and getting happy. A lot of times we have focused on what we want so much and 
for the most part, been focusing on the lack of it, maybe without even realizing it. And so we've developed doubt and resistance over time. Quite often when we think about what we want now, it feels maybe not so good. So if my first trick doesn't work for you because of this, then this one will. I mean, the secret really is that you can focus on anything, on any subject that brings you joy and allow what you want in. Allow what you want to manifest for you. And here's why. When you've been focusing on your desire from a place of lack, like why isn't it here yet? Why hasn't it happened yet? When is it gonna happen? What am I doing wrong? You're at a vibration, you're practicing a vibration where the universe or your inner being cannot give you the solution. You cannot receive the answer or the solution from this point of view, from this vibration. So the universe is just waiting for you to get distracted by something. When you're focused on something else, even for just a few minutes that makes you feel happy, maybe you're having fun, maybe you're having a laugh, that is emitting a vibration that can allow the answer and the solution. And so, boom, the universe, your inner being, will give you the answer, can give you the answer and the solution because you're no longer practicing that vibration of lack in that moment. Doesn't that make sense? So you've been able, through something that has distracted you and has made you feel positive emotion, you have been distracted from something that wasn't happening, that lackful vibration. Now you're on a new vibration, one that matches solution, that matches an answer, that matches your desire. And so the universe can give you a little hint or a little nudge or an impulse or an idea. And that's why it is so important sometimes to just let go, let go of the oars and just float downstream, just let it go. Stop worrying about it and just get happy. Focus on absolutely any subject and you, you have the responsibility of finding those subjects that feel the best to you when you focus on them or things that you do in your daily life that make you feel, that bring you up to that high vibration. And trick number three is stop giving airtime to those bad feeling thoughts. So I talked about this a little bit in my video about depression and anxiety, about stopping the momentum of negative emotion and negative thoughts before they take off and manifest or continue a powerful momentum that you're kind of stuck in and you don't know how to get out of it. If you can stop giving so much of your focus and attention to things that don't feel great or doubts or worries or what if this happens, all those kinds of negative thoughts. If you can stop giving your focus so much to them, you will be in alignment more of the time. Why? Because your natural state of being is positive emotion, is joy, is free, is ease, all those high-flying emotions, appreciation, love, that is your natural state of being. That's who you are and that's why it feels so good to feel that way and think thoughts that make you feel that way. It is your prolonged attention to negative thoughts and negative feeling subjects that increase the momentum more and more. So the law of attraction keeps giving you thoughts that feel just like that. And just like that so they keep you keep feeling worse and worse and you don't know how to feel happy anymore you don't know how to be feeling that positive emotion consistently and so from now on notice when you're feeling not good when you're feeling anything less than good notice that emotion and if it's not too strong take yourself away from those thoughts. Do something else, think about something else, cut off its power. The more airtime and focus you give to this, these negative feeling thoughts, the more you're going to feel bad. The more you feel bad, 
the more you're going to feel worse because the law of attraction will give you another thought and another thought and momentum builds. And then when you're in that negative state of mind, in come these doubts or where is this or why haven't I got this yet and I don't like my body and I don't like my life, etc. And really, when you're not feeling good, do not listen to anything you're saying because you do not have clarity in those moments of negative emotion. You do not have true clarity or knowledge. It's just one negative thought that attracts another negative thought that attracts another, another negative thought and the cycle just keeps going on until you stop and you stop giving your attention and airtime to these thoughts and think something different. Okay, so those are my three tricks for alignment with your desired result. These are incredibly powerful. Put them into action. Don't just think about them. Do them, put them into action in your life. Be more deliberate. It doesn't matter what you do to get into alignment, to get into that high frequency, that high vibration, just do it and follow these three tricks that I've given you today because they absolutely work and they will give you a sense of relief and freedom and help you to manifest faster. All right, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for more upcoming videos. Uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.